Now, if you know me, then you know that I love loud music, much more than the next guy. And also, noise canceling is great and all too, but um, sometimes your ears might just be tired, and that's not what you might be looking for with your earbuds. Well, depending on who you are and what your ears are like. Because if you're the type of person whose ears get stressed a lot with earbuds, like in-ear earbuds, and then noise canceling pressure makes things even worse as well, then you probably know by now that if you want to have earbuds you can have comfortably in your ears all day, then you're going to need something completely different from the norm. And that's exactly what these are. These are earbuds, yes, but not in-ear earbuds like most other earbuds. These are over-ear earbuds, and they're specifically called the Ola Dance Wearable Stereo. And the way these guys are built, well, like I said, they don't go in your ears at all. They're like headphones, but earbuds. And why would you even do something like this? Because this isn't ideal for something like noise canceling. I mean, the earbud needs to be in your ear for that to even work at all. So what's the whole point of this in the first place? Well, so you can stay directly and comfortably connected with your surroundings. There are actually a couple earbuds like this. Well, maybe not like this specifically, but for a similar purpose to this. For people that still want to listen to music or listen to whatever they want to listen to, but just without anything in their ears. In this category and with these parameters, well, an interesting and kind of popular technology that they use here is bone conduction. And so popular earbuds that have this technology in this category are called the Shox Open Run Pro. So I tried the Open Run Pros and I've been trying the Open Run Pros for a while now. And I take these as kind of the best of the best of these kind of earbuds. Or at least the popular of the popularest of these kind of earbuds. And yeah, they're pretty cool, definitely. Very interesting to be able to listen to music without listening at all, you know? Also, and I guess more intentionally with these guys, transparency mode is literally perfect. And the same thing goes for literally every other pair of earbuds in this category. So both the Open Run Pros and the Ola Dances as well. Now, if you've been watching a bunch of my earbud videos though, then you know that you don't just get perfect transparency with these non-in-ear earbuds. You also get perfect transparency with some normal in-ear noise canceling earbuds out there, like the AirPod Pros for example. And that's pretty impressive for earbuds like the AirPod Pros. So I was thinking like, what's the point of earbuds like these when like the AirPod Pros can match them or normal earbuds like the AirPod Pros can match them, you know? The thing is though, the perfect transparency experience you get with the AirPod Pros isn't the same as the perfect transparency experience you get with the Oladance over ear earbuds or any earbuds in this category. And this is where I really got to see the real point of these kind of earbuds. See, I love the AirPod Pros. And with its seamlessness and transparency, I think I can wear them for hours and hours without even listening to music. In reality though, this isn't always the case. With any pair of in-ear earbuds, even the most seamless ones, because it doesn't matter how seamless the earbuds are, they're still gonna be in-ear earbuds. So even if they might be perfect when it comes to transparency, you still can't escape the fact that there's literally stuff inside your ears all the time. And in that way, they might not be the most seamless earbuds, even if they're the most seamless earbuds. If you're someone that deals with this in-ear discomfort problems, then you probably know what I'm talking about. So yes, with the AirPod Pros, if we're talking exactly what you hear compared to these two non-in-ear earbuds, well then, things will be equal, transparency-wise that is. Meaning you'll be able to hear literally about the same ambient sound from your surroundings. But feel-wise though, right now, the AirPod Pros feel the worst in my ears. It's really not a big deal, especially for someone like me, but the way I'll describe it is that it kind of feels like your fingers are blocking your ears. But somehow, transparency is still perfect. And like I said, that's fine, it's not a big deal, but it's not ideal, and feel-wise, it's definitely worse than what you get with all two of the non-in-ear earbuds I've tried in this video. Now, you know an area where the AirPod Pros are easily better than these guys though? It's an area where the AirPod Pros are not even that great at, but non-in-ear earbuds are just known for not being the best at, you know? The area I'm talking about is sound quality. When it comes to sound quality and non-in-ear earbuds, honestly, I have to say, they kind of suck in comparison. Like, for example, the Open Run Pros are great. You know, the bone conduction stuff is nice and almost everyone that tries it seems to love it. It's very comfortable, it's very cool, but it just doesn't sound so good. Like, straight up sound quality wise. If I try to compare it against earbuds like the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros, for example, just based on sound quality alone, it'll be a night and day difference. I mean, don't get me wrong, they sound pretty good for what they are and sound quality and fullness and loudness is even the primary focus of these earbuds earbuds or headphones, earphones like these. But still, if it comes down to listening to your favorite album, if it compared to almost average sounding standard earbuds like the AirPod Pros, sound quality and loudness wise, you're gonna get a much better experience with the AirPod Pros. That's why I'll say that sound quality is kind of a downside when it comes to these kind of earbuds, or I mean earphones. So if you're interested in these kind of earphones, you kind of just gotta let go of sound quality as a primary factor. And I do like this concept of earbuds and stuff, you know, I think it's cool, healthy and all. But if you know how I feel about sound quality, then you know that this is kind of a bummer for me. 
Well, at least that's till the Oladance company reached out to me with their own non-in-ear earbuds, earphones, thingamajig. And I already thought it looked less cool than the bone conduction earphones, but Oladance claimed that theirs actually has good sound quality, while giving you the perfect transparency experience as well. Plus they said they'll give me some money. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. When it comes to sound quality, well, they weren't kidding. These guys sound pretty good. Compared to the Open Run Pros, they sound a good amount fuller and louder. They also have better bass as well. I mean, it's kind of hard to show you the way I normally would because of how tricky it is to capture sound from bone conduction earphones. But I'll say that apart from the bone conduction feeling you get with the Open Run Pros and the nice vibration party around your ear stuff going on there, the Ola Dances have a good amount better sound quality and they might just be the best of the best in this category when it comes to sound quality. Now, they can still be easily beat by regular earbuds when it comes to loudness though. But since the audio quality is pretty good and they get loud enough and they still give you that perfect transparency experience, well, I think these guys are the first to really sell me on the idea of the healthier, non-noise canceling, non-loud music, non-in-ear earbuds. First, I didn't want to compromise on sound quality. And second, I just wanted a smooth and seamless, you know, earbud or audio listening experience, you know. And recently, my sister and I were moving, so that means I had to carry a bunch of heavy stuff for a long stretch of time. And I also needed to hear everything going on around me so I could talk to the people helping us move and stuff. And I was using the Pixelbook Pros, but it kept falling out of my ears. And the Pixelbook Pros don't even have perfect transparency mode in the first place. But after a bunch of sweating as well, even the AirPod Pros started falling out of my ears too. So I switched to the Ola Dances, and then hours just flew by. Like, I had no problems with the sound quality. I had no problems with the transparency. Oh, well, of course, you know. And it was just a light and comfortable and seamless experience. Now, with that being said, though, I have had some problems, or at least some things I haven't really liked. For example, and I know the open, ambient thing that these guys are going for, but you gotta know, if you're listening to music and someone's standing close to you, they will hear exactly what you're listening to. It's definitely exactly what you would expect if you thought about it. Apart from this, though, the only other thing that kind of bugs me, sort of, with these is that, you know, the wingtips that these have, well, they're not like the wingtips on, let's say, the Powerbeats Pro, for example. Those ones feel like seat belts in your ears, man. They can get kind of comfortable and everything, but these ones feel light, and they're pretty comfortable, sure, but um, I always feel like they're not as secure as I want them to be. Like, I've used them to, like, work out and, like, to go running, and they've been fine with that, but I always feel like I can't bend, like, past... A certain like I can't do a cartwheel for example you know hmm. um okay but see yeah well anyways that's about all you need to know about the Ola Dance. well that's about all I know about the Ola Dance wearable stereos right here um, let me know what you think about these guys in the comment section below or any questions you might have. Um, I'm going to be covering some pretty interesting tech moving forward and I'm open to all suggestions so leave one down below, okay? You never know. With that being said, thanks for watching. Um, look at my hand right here. Uh Let's say noise canceling earbuds are pretty interesting. How would I even rank them? How would I even... What about noise canceling earbuds? Huh? Let me see. Uh, huh. It's not... Huh. Dang. It's been a long time. Number six. Where's number... Oh. <laughs> accurate. Accurate. Maybe generous, actually. Um, let me see. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Looks like I got some work to do. All right. One sec, one sec. Oops, just. Yep. 